Why is the zero sequence current non-existent in line-to-line -line fault? A. Because it is unsymmetrical. B. Because there is no ground. C. Both. Time's up. The answer is B. Because there is no ground. Zero sequence current occurs in faults related to the ground. For example, single line to ground or double line to ground. As in the case of line to line fault, there is no ground involved, so it does not have a zero sequence current. Why are all the line voltages on high voltage side differently affected in case of line to line fault? A. Because of nature of fault. B. Because of transformer connections. C. None. Time's up. The answer is B, because of transformer connections. In delta line, voltage is equal to phase voltages, but in wire line, voltage is root three times of phase voltage. So magnitude change in phase voltages depends directly on transformer connection. In a given waveform, which parameters can be used to identify the type of fault? A, current and voltage waveforms. B, sequence current waveforms. C, both. Time's up. The answer is C, both. As each fault current has different current, voltage, and sequence current waveform, so it is easy to distinguish between the type of fault using these waveforms. What is the phase difference between the line currents of faulted phases in case of line-to-line -line fault? A, 120 degrees. B, 180 degrees. C, 90 degrees. Time's up. The answer is B, 180 degrees. In line-to-line -line fault, both line currents are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction, which is represented by a phase difference between them of 180 degrees. Why are the fault currents not symmetrical in case of double line-to-ground fault? A, because of the ground. B, because it has zero and negative sequence current. C, fault currents are symmetrical. Time's up. The answer is B, because it has zero and negative sequence current. The presence of zero and negative sequence current shows that double line to ground faults are not symmetrical. How can we identify the positive sequence network from the given sequence network diagrams? A, by identifying a source. B, by identifying an open circuit due to transformer connection. C, have no source. Time's up. The answer is A, by identifying a source. An EMF source present in positive sequence network distinguish it from zero and negative sequence network as this source is not present in zero and negative sequence network diagrams. What type of transformer connections can help us in identifying the zero sequence network? A, delta Y. B, delta delta. C, both. Time's up. The answer is C, both. As zero sequence current cannot pass through the delta connection, it gets trapped within the delta system. Hi, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get updates on whenever we post new content. Thank you and see you next time.